In the kitchen, craft is everything. An ounce more, a minute less can make all the difference. Yet, as a Michelin star chef, I know my own work is only ever as good as my ingredients. And in this series, I'm teaming up with the Balveni to meet the extraordinary craftspeople supplying produce to some of the finest kitchens in Britain. Along the way, I'll be sourcing items for a celebration, bringing together the very best of British culinary craft. I'm Michel Roux, and this is the Craftsman's Dinner. One artichoke, one lobster mousse, uh, four sweet, two veal. Bread pastry. Every chef knows that diners eat first with their eyes. It means that the right tableware plays a vital role in the theater of fine dining. It can have a radical effect, not just on how a meal looks, but even on people's experience of how it tastes. It's why, for years, I've worked with the celebrated potter, Nain Woodrow. So when it comes to sourcing a few rather special pieces for my craftsman's dinner, I know just who to call. I've been trying to figure out how many years it's been that I've been coming to your shop, Nair. It must be 30 years? Mid-80s. I've been here since 78, so wow. mid-80s, maybe. I actually remember the first glaze and the first pots I ordered. It was, it was that... In the jade. We call it jade there. Yeah, special pots that I commissioned. With little lids on. With little yeah. lids on, yeah. Yeah, which sometimes didn't quite fit. <laughs> <laughs> which I told Mr. you. Mr Picky, I used to say. <laughs> well, yes, you see, because it's important. That's <laughs> always been my delight when you come into the shop, because right from the beginning, you know, we were two craftspeople talking together, working, working something out. Yeah. Nain's agreed to make a range of different pieces for my craftsman's dinner. For this particular commission, however, I have an added request. All these years, I've commissioned work from you, and, and I, I've kind of got a glimpse of behind the scenes, but I've never ventured into your domain. Uh, so today's the day. Would you like to come see me work? I'd love to see you work. Let's go. Come, come on, along. All pots start the same way, as a piece of clay on a wheel, shaped and styled by the potter's hands. Yet watching Nain at work, one sees that what separates a good potter from a truly great one can all come down to the subtlest of movements at the fingertips. OK, Michelle. It's your turn now. Are you up for this? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. definitely. I want to go. Get your PD on. Yeah, I'm going to take my jacket off as well. Please. You will get a bit mucky. As a chef, I'm used to working with my hands. All the same, I'm intrigued to see how I fail with this rather different manual craft. Right, sleeves up. Sleeves up, OK. Everything in front of me, my clay is here, so yes. dead centre. As, as close to the centre as you can possibly get it, and then hit it on. That's it. Now hit it, hit it down. That's it. Good. All right, now plenty of water when you're centering. And, and a fast... No, no, no. Come on. Manly, manly like that. Oh, probably. Water, oh, right, water, right, right. Lots of water. You know? right. uh, <laughs> foot on the accelerator. Oh, sorry, not on the accelerator. Foot but pedal. Foot, foot pedal. pedal. OK, down you go. And quite fast when you're centering. Keep your, hand, keep your hands like this. Put your arms down on the edge of the, edge of the, of the wheel, would you? And then thumbs on top and stop, stop wobbling your hands. Keep them still. I'm not wobbling my hands. Yes, you are. My old friend Nain is proving to be a tough taskmaster. OK, let's try another one. Nonetheless, she does finally guide me into making something at least faintly resembling a pot. Whoa, look at that! Stop now, stop now, stop now. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now we're going to try and... Let's see, look at this! He's all right, he? I think it's time for you to get cracking and uh, for me to clean up. Good day. Well done. We'll leave it to you. <laughs> leave it to the expert. As I leave Nain to start work on her creations for my craftsman's dinner, it's clear that it takes just a little longer than a single lesson to master this particular craft. When I did my culinary apprenticeship in Paris, it was two years of backbreaking work chopping fruit and weighing ingredients. These seemingly repetitive tasks were a vital grounding. And in pottery, it's no different. No one knows this more than Nain's own apprentice, Rachel Carpenter. I've been learning how to throw on the wheel. So my first task has been to throw 100 cylinders, making sure that they are all equal sizes. And then I throw them away. 
and then I'm throwing another 100 cylinders and then another 100 cylinders. Exacting exercises like this teach apprentices not simply to create beautiful one-offs, but to repeat perfection again and again. So Nain as a mentor is incredibly tough. She expects very high standards, but it's all towards the greater good of something coming out at the end. Back in her workshop, Nain adds a coloured glaze to her creations for my craftsman's dinner. Glazing is perhaps the most mysterious phase of the entire craft process. Until the ceramics are fired, there's simply no way of knowing how the finished glaze will look. Left in the kiln overnight, the ceramics will be heated to over a thousand degrees centigrade. So now I think it's time for a, a little glass. Yeah. With her work finished for the day, Nain joins me for a much deserved break. Mm. Mm. That's good, isn't it? Delicious. I've had a great day. A really great what was day. Your, what was your best bit? I think talking to the apprentice. Mm. And, and, and it brought back so many memories for me as an apprentice. I have very strong feelings uh, about an apprenticeships. And I genuinely feel that I, I learnt far more than a trade as an yeah. apprentice. I learnt life skills. And they develop their own style, which is just... That's vitally important to me. I don't want to be copied. And... Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit like in cooking. You can teach the classic technique. Mm. Uh, but then you want each chef to have his own individuality, mm. and that's very much the same mm. with you. Here's to apprenticeships. <laughs> the next day, I'm back to see how Nain's work has finally turned out. Hi, Nain. Hello, hello, you're back. Good to Great. see you, I'm hello. back. Guess what's in here? <laughs> you want to have a look? Of course I want to see Let's you. go for it, hey? By using multiple glazes on each piece, Nain has created a bold signature look. It's the perfect touch to add a hint of theatre to my craftsman's dinner. And your little shot cups, look. Oh, yes. I want to ask what you're going to put in them, but I won't. Uh, <laughs> all will be revealed, but look. Mm. I'm so pleased that they really, really do look great. Okay. So next time I see you will be at um, my craftsman's yes. dinner. Looking forward, looking forward. <laughs> oh, that'd be great.